Blanche Monnier was born March 1st, 1849, in Poitiers, France. Monnier was a French socialite from a prestigious, well-respected conservative family in Poitiers of old noble origins, described by her peers as very gentle and good-natured. She was also well known for being a very beautiful woman and could have attracted many potential marriage candidates. But in 1874, at the age of 25, Blanche fell for an older gentleman that was a lawyer. While this may have been a very exciting thing for Blanche, her mother was extremely unpleased with her choice of lover. Despite her mother's pleas to reconsider her choice, Blanche refused to give it a second thought. So Blanche's mother, along with the help of her son, Blanche's brother, did something unthinkable and locked her into a small room and was given an ultimatum that she would be released if she would choose another lover, Blanche refused. And it would be there in that dark room Blanche would spend the next 25 years of her life locked away. On May 23, 1901, the Paris Attorney General received an anonymous letter by a writer who was still unknown to this day explaining Blanche's situation. It said authorities were hesitant to act upon this information because of the Monnier family and their status as being very respected in the community. When authorities found Blanche, she was laying in a straw bed. She hadn't bathed or even seen the sunlight for over 25 years. She lay there completely naked, chained to the bed, so she wasn't able to get up and go to the bathroom. So over all that time, she laid there in her own urine and feces, surrounded by rotten food, bugs, and even rats. The smell was so bad that they couldn't last but a few minutes at a time, having to keep walking in and out of the room before somebody ordering another to break the window to let some of the smell out. She was also extremely malnourished, weighing only 55 pounds. Her mother, Madame Monnier, was arrested upon the discovery of Blanche, but she would die only 15 days later. Her brother was also arrested, but was later acquitted on all charges. Blanche would finally be freed, but her 25-year ordeal had taken an extreme toll on her mentally, and she would be admitted to a psychiatric facility. There, she would spend the rest of her life and would pass away in 1913 at the age of 64. Here is an actual photo of Blanche on the day that she was discovered.